this week we're hoping to get up to 50 percent with our pops information and know the part that we can play but today we're going to talk about why you should care about pops we're going to talk about the adverse effect effects of pops on us and our system here in saint lucia and of course we're always going to let you know the ways you can minimize the exposure and we are live wow that happens good afternoon facebook it's morning but it's afternoon somewhere else i swear to god if i could wake up one hour just one hour behind just like the sun i would have been a very happy camper <laughs> all right and without further ado we introduce our very capable people ladies from hello sustainable development and of course they are going to be sharing with us about pops today so last week we learned what pops was and we learned where they come from this week we want to learn we also learned a little bit about minify, minimizing the effects of pops yeah. what we can do to stay away from you know exposing these chemicals into our atmosphere so today we're going to learn more we're going to be talking about why we should care and the adverse effects of pops exposure all right so are you ready for me today ladies yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, we we started the the program last week with more or less of an overview giving you a little bit of everything but as you indicated primarily what are pops and uh last week we 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 ran through you know the 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 conundrum of pops like P-O-P-S, what is that? What is it? Persistent organic pollutants. We want to remind everybody that this is something that the world is dealing right now, an environmental situation that is affecting us. And St. Lucia, as a signatory to important environmental treaty, is doing its part to reduce the effects and have more and more of our population uh, operate more sustainably. And part of that is reducing our exposure to POPs and uh, changing our behaviors where, when it comes to POPs emissions. So we're back here. Good morning, Chelsea. Good, Good morning. morning, Mr. DJ Song Pondi Replay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to to really DJ continue. X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To continue the, the, the good work um, happening out of the Department of Sustainable Development. Uh, Jesse Leons, Yasmin Jude in tow to continue. Of course, we do have an exciting prize as we did uh, last week. We know it's Christmas. Tis it's Christmas. Tis the season to not come empty handed. So this week, last week we gave away an Oster blender and this week we want to give away a toolkit. So it has some hand tools in there, uh, pretty good for uh, persons who want to do some DIYs around the house and so on. So that is what we want to give away today. But first you have to listen to this in the next 30 minutes or so to really soak up the information that we want you to have. Because first of all, awareness education is important. So you, you must be knowledgeable in order to make these changes that we're exactly. looking to have. Uh, pushed out so like i said last week we had you know what are pops persistent organic pollutants where do they come from and of course we have yasmin again in tow to speak to us this week about why we should uh, care uh, about about pops the effects of the exposure the roots of exposure and how to avoid pops altogether if we can and it's very it's a, it's a difficult task right, yasmin very difficult <laughs> in the time frame but, but it's possible Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, now yes, name you need to you to come closer to the mic. I would I'm gonna share my mic with you today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, and Yasmin, we just want you to get into it. Tell us, you know, what we should be learning today. Like I said, we left last week at twenty five percent. We're trying to leave this week at fifty percent. Okay, so what I'd like all of you here, including you Chelsea, yes. What I'd like you to learn today, I want you to understand why is the world talking about pops? Pops. Why should we even care? Last week, I told you, I, I went through the properties of pops, which makes them um, a concern. I also went through sources of pops. Chelsea, if I ask you, I hope you can win a prize. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God. Chelsea, what are pops? Persistent organic pollutants. One thing about pops. One thing about their properties. One thing about the properties of pops is that they don't die out very quickly, and you can find them in fertilizers. 
Two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get two. You get two. So. Not quite right, though. Not quite right. <laughs> She said they don't die out. They're not alive. They're but not but alive. They're but they're but they're persist. persist. Okay? I get the point. They're very that's troublesome. That's, that's exactly. what I meant to say. They're very exactly. troublesome. They don't degrade easily. Yes. Persistent perils that are found everywhere. They're in the air that we breathe. They're in the soil that we grow our food. They're in the water that we recreate in. They're in the water that we, we use for drinking. Well, we hope, we we're hope hoping not. not. We're hoping not. Okay, so because these chemicals are potentially toxic and they are prevalent everywhere around us, even if we do not have um, activities that um, intentionally generate those chemicals, they pose a big threat to our health and to the environment. And that's because, as I said last week, they're chemically stable, so they don't break down and they love fat they fat loving fat seeking so we tend to get them accumulated in the fatty tissue of mammals of birds and and fish mm -hmm. okay so serious illness can result when you are exposed to these pops okay how seriously ill you become would depend on two things how much of these chemicals you have been exposed to and also how long you have been exposed to it okay so we can become exposed to these chemicals in a number of ways we can inhale them okay we can they can be absorbed through our skin so if we're handling products um, or articles that contain these um, chemicals they can be absorbed through our skin and enter our bloodstream and a very the major pathway of exposure is actually ingestion which means taking it into your bodies through your mouth and we can we can ingest or take in contaminated fish mm -hmm. meat and dairy products okay that have been contaminated um with pops so um there are many serious um, potential effects of pops on, on human beings and wildlife alike. For example, there are birth defects. You can have um, learning, learning disabilities or diminished intelligence because these chemicals actually affect your nervous system. Mm -hmm. mm. You can, they are, they, are, they are all, some of them are also called endocrine disrupting substances, which means they, 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 um, they interfere with how our hormones are normally supposed to work. And we know that hormones regulate a lot of processes in our bodies. It's true. I only recognize that word because of endometriosis, to be quite honest. Uh, Actually, that mm -hmm. is one of the things, associated. that is one of the things that have been associated with POPs as well. Pops, oh, wow. POPs exposure. Mm -hmm. Interesting. As well, right, as well as diabetes. Mm. Some forms of, so, diabetes can be a combination of genetics, but also we're finding that a lot of it could be environmental because of the hormone disrupting um, properties of some of these pups. We've seen in wildlife some birds exhibiting nesting behavior like how a female would mm -hmm. normally nest and guard her eggs. We see strange behavior in, in, in some birds mm -hmm. and that is because these chemicals have altered their chemistry, their body chemistry. And so they, is, that, is that like they abandoning the nest or? No, well, they, 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 they almost behave in female. Oh, oh the males? The males, the males, the males. The males. Wow. Like, right. Wow, okay. Wow. And <coughs> it, in some... <coughs> did, did you say... <coughs> yeah, yeah. Are you... Are you <coughs> stop the pop, stop the pop. Yeah, that's what they want, man. Like, are you that. attributing some of the <laughs> feminine behavior of males <laughs> of our species to pops? <laughs> DJ X, is that what you did? No, 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 no. It's only I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> Well, we don't know. We don't <laughs> we know, do we? <laughs> That is not perfect, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're seeing a lot, of, a lot more um, young people, persons being born with, with all different kinds of allergies or hypersensitivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's because these pops can also if affect our immune system. Oh my goodness. Okay? So they affect a lot of our major organ systems, reproductive. Um, we have we've seen sterility sterility in some species. We have seen um, 
infertility we've seen as i said abnormal sexual behavior in in, in some in some species of wildlife mm -hmm. and um as i said the the effect of that depends on how long you've been exposed and as i said these things persist in the environment for a long time right so yes some people if for example we had an accidental spill um, and people living near the site came into contact with food grown or ate food grown in the area. Yes, they would have an initial high exposure, the levels would be high. But in their children, for example, we may begin to see effects. But pregnant women, women of childbearing age, young children and the elderly are groups that are particularly sensitive to the negative impacts of POPs. How so? so because, for example, a pregnant or woman of childbearing age, she would be exposed to POPs. Okay, these POPs um, enter her body and they stay there for a while. Mm -hmm. She becomes pregnant. The child is now exposed. Is exposed, is, is exposed in the womb to these chemicals. So whatever, contaminated circulation. Exactly. Right. So well. whatever, whatever is flowing through the mother's um, blood, the child gets exposed to it and these children we're finding that some children are born with either low birth weights with birth defects um cleft palate um has been in some instances um associated with pops exposure i think it was in india there was a case of um, a particular pops pesticide mm -hmm. where we were they were finding a high incidence of cleft palates there cleft no, palate, what cleft is, what, palate. What? It's, it's 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 a condition where a sort of the upper part upper of your mouth upper the roof, of, of, your the roof uh -huh. of your mouth is split oh, yes. and it normally wow. requires surgical correction okay so so we've seen a we've we've, we've seen that um these things can can affect people in a number of ways and these effects are not just health effects they have knock-on impacts okay mm -hmm. we have to think of the cost of our healthcare system in mm -hmm. treating people who have been exposed um acutely short term on who, are, who may show signs of poisoning or, or, or serious effects. We also have long-term care. As I said, it's associated with certain kinds of cancers. And we know that treatment of cancer is expensive. Um, and, and you you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's you're treated over time. So that comes at a cost. Also, when people are ill, what happens, Chelsea? If you're mm -hmm. ill, Impact on your household. Yes. On your household. Your, on your, household your ability to work, work and provide for. It's compromised. Right. Sometimes you're the so, only one doing for your family, mm -hmm. and then you now have a setback that exactly. not only you cannot deal with, but they cannot deal with. And it also weighs on you mentally, knowing that you are the breadwinner. So it, 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 it acts in different ways, knowing mm -hmm. that you're sick and you cannot provide, especially if you're the sole provider. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it has an impact on your employer. Mm -hmm. Your employer has a loss of um, man hours, okay, um, loss of productivity, and when we sum that up, if we have a lot of people sick in a community or on our island, what do you think that equates to? Yeah, economic, economic and social mm -hmm. progress depends on a healthy nation. That's right. Mm -hmm. A healthy nation, in turn, depends on a healthy environment. A healthy environment depends on it being. Um, contamination free or where we minimize contamination mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we see the importance now of ensuring that our activities whatever it is that we do that we minimize um, try first of all to produce things that are harmful and if we are to produce things that are harmful we need to know how to manage them responsibly every step of the way right. including the products that we use and as I said mm -hmm. one of the ways um, that we can for, for St. Lucia an important source of um, persistent organic pollutants would be the open burning of mixed waste that contain electronic equipment, that contain, um, say, um, transformers mm -hmm. or capacitors, or that may contain, um, you know, pesticides yeah. that contain hops. Certain plastics. Certain plastics, certainly mm -hmm. certain pans. Some, some of our pans are coated with. Um, with um substance with 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 pops chemicals and that's to mm -hmm. make them non-stick we spoke about the firefighting foam so yeah. so there are some people because of their occupation they they're also at higher risk mm -hmm. okay of exposure for example the people who work on the landfills mm -hmm. okay they they're they're at risk the people who work um 
in the fire service where we where they use um, those those um, pops containing forms, mm -hmm. which, as I said, we're looking to phase out. Right. They 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 could be exposed as well. So we have a lot of reason to want to care about these chemicals, knowing what. Um, products contain them and how we manage those products and constantly looking out learning about safer alternatives to these okay so I hope you you the listeners um, listeners I hope you're listening because we want you to understand how can you be exposed that's right okay. and also if we get an answer from Facebook when we're ready to do our giveaway providing that you are residing in St. Lucia and yeah, you give yeah, us the yeah, answers yeah. Because um, I know some of y'all are not on islands and it's strictly for St. Lucia's. The phone is ringing. We haven't even asked the question yeah. yet. We're not even halfway through the show. <laughs> what y'all doing? Yeah, they're ready to win. That is, that is, that is I Christmas know they're ready to win. Tis the season for winning. But for our phone lines and of course Facebook, pay very special attention. There is a really nice prize up for grabs. Um, it's not. I know when you'll hear tools, you'll think it's for men, but it's not only for men. I live alone. I'm a woman, and I need tools at my home. All right. So single ladies living alone in your apartments, you can cash in on that prize as well. So pay special attention. We're going to delve deeper into this, and of course, if you have the answer at the end of the show, we will definitely be willing to accept your answer if our caller doesn't get it right. Now somebody is asking, what do we do if we think we are exposed? Okay, if you think you are exposed, I, I think the first thing that you should do is to contact your healthcare provider. Right. That, that is the first thing that you ought to do. You need to um, contact your healthcare provider and they can go through, they may ask you questions as to what, 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 what's your occupation, where, how do you think you became exposed. That's the first step. That's okay. the critical first step. Contact your healthcare provider. All right. But just on that note, Yasmin, if you could speak to us about the extent of exposure that St. Lucia and well, residents of St. Lucia may typically be exposed to, because we're not necessarily an industrial giant. We're a small island developing state. And as you indicated, uh, one of the primary concerns is open burning. So what are some of the ways that we here in St. Lucia may be exposing ourselves uh, unwittingly to a persistent organic pollutants? Okay, I would say unwittingly it would be in some of the consumer products. Okay, if we we use nonstick pans, and when we purchase in nonstick pans or cookware, we ought to look for those that are P4 free. It says PFOA or PFOS free. Okay, well, so let's start looking, looking for that. Let me write that down. Huh? <laughs> yeah, because I buy a lot of nonstick uh -huh. um, um, appliances. PFOA free or P4 free. free. Okay. Or P for free. P F O S. Wow. Free. When, when, for, 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 for those of you who may be involved in procurement for retail stores, etc., mm -hmm. um, when you're ordering your your fabrics for for draperies and for 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 curtains, etc., upholstery, it's useful to find out whether they have been treated for um, stain stain resistance or water resistance. Okay, or fire resistance, normally any fabric that, that is so treated mm -hmm. would most likely contain um, a chemical that has been treated with a chemical mm -hmm. that is a pot. Right. Okay, so, so, that's, that's, so avoid water and stain repellent fabrics to the extent possible. Um, to the extent possible, um, when you're burning, some of us may want to recover um, the wires the, the copper, 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 copper from 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 the electronics, electric, electronics right. etc. And we burn the, the, the plastics. We advise you, please, 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 please avoid burning plastics. Full stop. Mm -hmm. Because plastics, when they're burnt, they emit um, a lot of dangerous chemicals, including pops, depending on the type of plastic. When you're replacing mattresses or you're buying mattresses. Um, Look for those that do not have brominated flame retardants or BFRs. Mm. Okay, BFRs, BFRs. It may not. Yeah, and the long name is brominated flame retardants. Look for those that do not have those. It's it's, it's safer. Yeah, I learned something new today. 
Let me tell you, I'm taking notes. <laughs> okay, and, okay, and generally, and unfortunately, generally, um, um, mattresses and so coming from the US tend to have those because of their, their certain standards for fire. For, mm -hmm. for, for, for safety etc mm -hmm. but there are safer alternatives they may be more expensive more expensive short term oh, yes, but I was, yeah exactly I was cheaper about. cheaper long term because you're safeguarding your health right okay and the cost we, we know that the cost of proper medical care is is expensive it's, it's very expensive a lot of people think that living sustainably or making adjustments to be a more sustainable in their, in their homes at the job it's more expensive and you have to what's all these different things you know how to get a specific type of cup you have to get like in the case of pops you have to get specific types of materials and household wear but in the long run it's better for you because you spend less for that and you spend less in terms of the cost associated with your health exactly and a lot of the fabrics the naturally occurring fabrics linens cottons and so on mm. not treated you know these 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 are best these are these are the better fabrics mm -hmm. Okay, so I see you looking at your shirt. That could very so well be I polyester. So. I, I'm trying to check that out why. That could very I'm well be polyester. <laughs> polyester, okay. It, it's if the polyester has been treated, then it's a problem. Treated, um, you know, to make it stain um, repellent, mm -hmm. uh, resistant, or mm -hmm. water resistant, and that's that's where the issue comes in. Also, I mentioned that our, one of the major routes of exposure is actually through eating or taking in contaminated food. Right. So one of the things that we must ensure, if if we think, for example, that we've grown um, our vegetables, say near a past, uh, near an area where we knew in the past that they use those um, pesticides that contain pops, we want to ensure that we wash, we wash these these, these the, the, our produce carefully mm -hmm. to remove any residue. Nice. Washing our hands is also it's, it's for general health really you, mm -hmm. you try to, to to minimize the amount of any contaminant um that may be present by washing thoroughly okay yasmin i want to come to you know saint lucia not being unique in terms of this whole effort mm -hmm. um speak to us about the global move not just um saint lucia but the other islands in the region who are doing similar work to reduce the effects and emit tops emissions Okay, so recognizing that this um, problem is global and it cannot be solved by one country or a few countries alone. Right, right, we, right. we need everybody, we need all hands on deck, all countries, all on board. big, small. Um, it doesn't matter whether you produce or not. As I said before, these, these substances are carried or transported over very long distances, thousands of miles in the air currents. Yes. We, we know that air currents go far. We, when we had the recent eruption in St. Vincent, we know that ash yeah, we got reached ash as far as, as, as Europe, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. perhaps even further. So likewise with POPs, these things are carried over very, very long distances. So it's a transboundary um, issue. Mm -hmm. So all countries have to get on board. St. Lucia and many other Caribbean countries have made um, a legal commitment to do so by joining the becoming parties to the Stockholm Convention on mm -hmm. Persistent Organic Pollutants. It's, a, it's an agreement, it's a global effort where countries come together to take actions to reduce the production and use of these chemicals. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So everybody is on board, St. Lucia is on board, and we're trying to do our part. We all have plans in place and we're trying to implement those plans. And we know that these plans cannot, the successful implementation of these plans depends on awareness of the people, mm -hmm. of, of what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how they can go about doing it. All right, nice. Now, you guys conducted your own survey, survey yeah. to see um, which parts of the island were not familiar with, you know, what POPs is. Because when we came in last week, we did our whole, what did you first, you know, hear? Think of. Think of when you heard POPs. <laughs> now, we want to know some of the key areas in St. Lucia. That's my name, name. That, name <laughs> we call it names. We name calling this morning. What? This afternoon. We name no, dropping this when afternoon. See, when you see name dropping, you have to be careful. It's, 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 it doesn't say... It says nothing about the people. It's, it's, it's not an indictment on the people. We're not mm -hmm. indicting anybody. It's actually, it's for us 
at the department to know where we mm-hmm. need to do well, the I'm work. from Castries and I didn't know nothing about pops until last week. Okay? <laughs> All right? You know you're going to share that I'm one. going to share it that way. Okay. So, it's not about the... Co- we're, not, we're not starting no community wars here. Y'all know I really remember this. That's not community wars. We're not starting no community we wars here. We what we are doing is just letting you know that some parts of the island just were not aware as mm-hmm. much as the others and of course i'm sure this survey is going to continue because when we sp- pay specific um interest in those communities other communities will feel left out mm-hmm. and now they will want to know but hey why won't we call yeah why we need to know what we need to do as well to mm-hmm. help our country and by extension help the region and to right, also most take, likely mm-hmm. most definitely most definitely and also to take accountability so yes. everybody is their neighbor's keeper they watch you know to make sure you're not Absolutely. burning yeah. that's not right not contaminating I, their environment I, their I know a place that that people burn a lot hey, of hey, yeah. hey. I, well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. <laughs> Next thing, my, pe- my people will come for me. I tell you where. I don't want my people to come for me. You cannot say. Yeah. What community are you from? Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. They will take that. They will take that. They, they're good. They're good. Yeah, I mean. One of the things I, I forgot to say, um, farming. Mm. If we were to um, engage in practices that were more environmentally friendly, that are less reliant on pesticides, or if we incorporate composting into our gardening, our farming activities, that is a sure way to make a contribution. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Try, I, I guess, your extension officers in the various regions can be contacted on more integrated ways of, of farming where you do not have to use so much of those chemicals mm-hmm. to get the the quality or quantity of produce that you that 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 you're looking for so, right so that's that's one of the things. now more than ever we're seeing the emergence of um item products like the seaweed products that are sustainably sourced sustainably produced in a in, in a factory you know we have our own his name escapes me right now but we have johan and dujon in saint lucia who right. is making you know um fertilizer wait did he change his name Johan Dujon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't change his name. No, he didn't change his What's name. What's the name of the company? Uh, the name Algas Organics. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. So there, Good there, job, are, Johanna. there are more and more companies, not only in St. Lucia now, part of the world, who are, you know, jumping on this sustainable train and, and understanding the effects that um, harmful chemicals uh, have on the environment. So you can go online, you can Google, you can find mm-hmm. out how you can. I mean, people are buying Amazon products from night till day. You could go research and see which products and which products are dangerous, which products are, you know, okay and environmentally friendly. There are so many, you know. Right. What about aquaponics, just briefly? Because, you know, we have a lot of people moving into that as well. Um, what are the chemicals associated with that, if any? And how could they be well, I guess the same, would, the same would apply. So mm-hmm. you could always research, you know, I mean, we're not agricultural o- officers. I'm not an agricultural <laughs> officer, but I'm so sorry to spring that question on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I imagine that any type of, of, of farming would, would mm-hmm. involve um, the use of, 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 of chemicals, whether it's medicines for, for, mm-hmm. for, for keeping pests at bay. Mm-hmm. They are used to increase yield and, and, and appearance of, of our product. All right, beautiful. Now, we want to know some of the ways that we can minimize but, our but own exposure. Is, we we didn't speak about the community. Oh, yeah, we didn't! We no, just we so went we rushed past them. So cool. We, went we came all the way back. <laughs> what I'd like to say, and I think it's an indictment it, it, on on us. We need to, uh, as, as a department, we need to to, to, to reach persons outside of Castries some more, and that mm-hmm. is why we're trying the radio. We're hoping that we have a lot of listeners in Canneries. I'm big up to those in Canneries. <laughs> Shout out Canneries, Sofre, Labry. You know, we really want to shout you all out. Um, today and we we would like you all um you know hope that you all are listening and we would like to we would like to give a prize outside of castries today don't you think so yeah, yeah. That is wonderful yeah, yeah. Wonderful. We, wonderful. all the prizes always seem to go to wonderful. people who live in it stays in castries exactly. we want to we want Wait to go to the now. west coast <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, we want to share the love so we, yeah, we, we really do want um our listeners out there in the communities that i mentioned and, and elsewhere to please i hope you've been listening so please call in and get a chance to win our our two 
two sets it is, just yeah, two, two sets it is. Mm-hmm. Now, two this kit. phone's been ringing non stop. You better be from answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, ring. Um, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, behave yourself. Hey, hey. But first, no. the question. But yes. Chelsea. But first, the question. So, hopefully, you guys, not hopefully, I know you guys were listening. I could probably answer um, one piece of a question. But um, <laughs> hopefully, you guys were listening. And we have a question for you today, so you can win that tool set. Just okay. can you type in the, the question in the, the Facebook Live as well? I think we can, yes. but we'll have to get our DJ slash technician to, to do, do that. that. Okay, that's Sasha Shaitora. <laughs> um, give two effects right. or consequences of Pop's exposure. Now, Yasmin, just pali pali pali. No, she talked a lot about great. Pop's pali exposure. Pali. Pali she talked a lot she about the effects. <laughs> yeah, she spoke in detail about the pop's effects and the, the consequences of uh, pop's exposure. So, give two effects or consequences of pop's exposure. And also, we're making it a little bit more challenging as, uh, than last week because we, we just wanted to feel the water yeah, last we week. Introductory yeah, purposes, we wanted Yeah, it was nice yeah. and mellow. You know? But now we we get in we get in a little I'll bit more challenging. Wits. Yeah, we're going, in, <laughs> we're going in deep. Slash and, and, and in think, the sea water. Right hey. <laughs> exactly. We feel like from the persons who were listening last week, they went to research, they come back this week, they listen so to they're Yasmin ready, more. They're ready, they're ready. Like ready. We, we can't give easy peasy lemon squeezy. So That's give right. two effects or consequences of Pop's exposure and state what, or describe one way you can be exposed to Pop's. All right. So now. it's like a two-part question. Okay, now I see this phone ringing caller. You better you have, have my answer. answer. Wait, wait. What's, what's the question again? Let me try and type it so in here. So give two effects. Give two effects. I just write two effects. Of Pop's exposure. All right, oh. so I'm going so, to... So what can happen? What are two things that can happen when and when when um and the second people one. or when people are exposed to Pop's uh, or when the oh, environment is contaminated by Pop's? Oh, All right. Sorry. So Chrissy says on Facebook, effects of Pops exposure. But what we need from you, Chrissy, is the second part of the question. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this call. So if our caller on this end doesn't answer correctly, and you give me the second part of the... Oh, girl, you fast. You're quick. <laughs> pa- um, pa- oh, okay, we need some... Call again. Call again. Do the things, Zem. I'm, I'm terrible at answering this phone, guys. I'm so sorry. But Chrissy <laughs> has answered... Yeah, all right, let's take this call. We're going to say good afternoon to you, Carla. How are you? Woo. I'm fine, thank you. Good afternoon. How are you? I am okay. Um, hold on a moment. All right. Now, tell us, do you have the answer? I do. Okay, what is the answer? Birth defects, mm-hmm. disabilities, reproductive issues, all right. um, hormonal deficiencies, Okay, Hello now things. answer the second part of the question. What is describe, the second part? Describe one way you can be exposed. <laughs> Sorry? Describe one way you can be exposed. One way you could be exposed yeah. by ingesting through eating stuff. You could what kind inhale of stuff? it. Eating what kind of what stuff? What kind of stuff? Sorry? What kind, what kind of, of stuff? stuff? Okay, you could absorb it through your skin. You could ingest um, contaminated fish meets dairy products excellent all right so we have a winner. We yes have a winner. Mm-hmm. now Carla, what is your name natalie Where natalie you from grizzly not on slurry oh natalie we need your we need your last name you should have said i'm sure so what's your last name Myers. nile m-y-e-l-s Yes. Well done, Natalie. Congratulations. So what you're going to do is just give uh, Chelsea uh, your number off air so that we can contact you because you have just won yourself a toolkit. Woohoo! $100. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. Um, Chrissy, don't worry. Your answer is not going unnoticed. And I will give you something compliments Real FM on behalf of Ooh. our friends here at Sustainable That's what we do. Development. Yeah. We giving away things. <laughs> Chrissy, you getting something, Chrissy. You getting something. Wow. But Natalie, I'm about to take your number. Um, so yeah, guys, you guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was any last things you want to say to the public whilst I'm, you know, getting Natalie's number. Yeah, so I mean, well, I, I wanted to speak to Natalie a little bit more, you know, just to find out what she has learned from today's session because 
we really want to spread the word as we indicated earlier and uh, coming off of the, the survey that was conducted St. Lucia has a lot of work to do in getting in driving awareness uh, to persistent organic pollutants and its effects and how to avoid pops here on Ireland so we hope that people are listening on from last week we hope that persons are understanding the content because you know it's a lot of information Yasmin it's a lot of um, information to take in but we hope that as we break it down for the next four well, for the fourth episode that people understand and they're able to wait only come four on. episodes I feel like we need some more we only have four on well we go well um, okay. I know Yasmin is very excited <laughs> to come back for more than four so that's something that we could always discuss we'll Yasmin how- Excellent. Yes, of course. And of course, um, if, if you would like some more information, if you're a student, um, wh- whoever you are, mm-hmm. you can call us at 468-5818 and we'd be happy to talk to you to provide you with more information. Um, also, does anybody in this room remember where you can go to for more information on, on the web? www.stopthepuffs.com yeah. I got it! <laughs> okay, no, you, you so just you just stole my thunder, you know. Oh, I'm about sorry. You, 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 know. Should act, you should have act quicker. That's what you should have done. Yeah, but she she didn't even. Yeah, finish but I knew you could have do the thing, man. You ever see you in class? You raise your hand. <laughs> we don't raise our hand over here. <laughs> but yeah, we we welcome persons calling in to find out more. Perhaps you have a class that you would like to share more. You're you're doing some science um science activity and you think that pops would fit in really well in in the curriculum right now you can always call us in and we would be very excited if not now because we know school is is heading on out for the christmas but for the new year it's something that we want really want to push and we want to really push it with the kids because the generation coming up we want to break the cycle we want it's to break true. The cycle. Excellent. and they're the it's ones true. who are going to be most affected if mm-hmm. we don't do what we need to do today we need to do it for them yeah man. absolutely and we need and, to do it you know, for them if anything we we need to understand that um we must all take greater responsibility for the health of our environment because if we don't take care of the environment the environment cannot take care of us Healthy environment, healthy people, productive people, progressive people. Sick environment, contaminated environment equates to an unhealthy people, less productive people in terms of um, work, um, economic um, output. Mm -hmm. So we must all play our part, okay? Mm -hmm. Producers, manufacturers of items, right down to us as consumers. We need to... Um, we, we're promoting responsible production and consumption. Whatever we use, we need to ensure that um, it doesn't harm us, more importantly, nor other organisms that share this planet with us. All right. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here with us. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. I can't wait to see, can't wait for the next two programs. I'm kind of sad it's only two more programs, but. We are we at fifty percent today. I took notes today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like we last hope, week. We hope everybody. We hope everybody, I hope everybody took notes. some notes because I took my notes. I hope you guys took your notes. And of course, when we come back tomorrow, the question not tomorrow. Oh, next week, Wednesday, yeah. next yeah. Wednesday, yeah. when we come back next Wednesday, the questions are going to be a lot more difficult right. because by now, we done waist deep. Okay, yeah. and we're so waist I'm, deep. We're calling people from 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 the south of the island. Um, um, sure we, we hear from Castries and Grosley all the time. The other districts. Labry. We're really asking you to come out. We want to give out. We want to share the love. It's Christmas. We can't share it in the north only. So please, I encourage you to 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 find out more about pops. www dot stop the pops dot com or four six eight. 5818 for more information from the Department of Sustainable Development. That's right. right. Keep that in mind as you guys are going out to shop for Christmas. We know many of you are going to the department stores. You're going to buy stuff. Go we want curtains. Exactly. So we just want keep this sheets. in mind. So what kind of curtains are you looking for, Chelsea? I want pink ones. That's all I know. Pink, that's all? That's <laughs> yeah. all? But don't get vaguely. You, <laughs> you want those that are water, water resistant? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I'm not looking for those. I'm not looking for those. If they have that on the label, I don't want it. No, yeah. you, course, you know course, that one? That, that that gives me a whole new perspective of shopping you know because yeah, right really. now 
Before I used to spend like 15 minutes shopping, now I go spend probably an hour and a half. Wow! We need to ask our suppliers if the labels don't have mm-hmm. enough information. We need to put the pressure on our local suppliers Absolutely. Right. to ensure that they, they find out more about their products and they give us information about the products so that we can make choices, mm-hmm. safer choices, safer alternatives. All right. I'll have to talk more about that next week. Yes. All right. <laughs> and that is exactly what we're going to be talking about next week. So tune in from 11 30 to, to noon. noon. Of course, we started a little late today. But we did explain why. But the time slot is 11.30 to 12 noon. That's and right. And you can join right. us here to get information. It is edutainment. And you can win a prize. Most, most importantly, after you learn, you get rewarded. Okay? You get rewarded for learning and listening. And we need to ensure that you've learned and listened. And we're looking for the answer word for word. Hey. And <laughs> don't bother calling to next week if you're not from Ancillary Lab. We can reach Rose. <laughs> Because I'm not giving you the price. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye Merry everybody. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Always a pleasure, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you, DJX.